in this point of the camp, we are in the last, you know, trimester, I guess we'll call it, which uh, we're in the last three weeks with actually flying out to Japan. Right now, all of the hard pounding is done. We're still sparring, but we're just getting more fine-tuned technically, and Juan, Juan's firing it above 95%, which is awesome. I mean, technically, there, there's a uh, few, few mistakes in, in 10 rounds of training. He's just refining everything, every position, you know, every angle, and uh, he's just responding to everything perfectly. What I think Juan's strongest attribute is his mindset. Juan's always been in shape. Juan's always been technically sound. Uh, he's a workhorse. Uh, he's, he's just constantly, constantly going and going and going and training. Now, Juan's mind, he's focused. He's very focused. He's very set on understanding actually who he is and what level of fighting that he has and the tools that he has, the techniques that he has and the perfection of the techniques that he has. Juan at this point has repeated things like belts. Belts are champs, not just all Americans, they're like national champs. So he has belts in all these areas and he's now working on not just a belt, but defending his belt and defending who he is. You know, as a, as a mixed martial artist, he's definitely, I'm working with a ton of guys. He is one of the best, if not the best, athlete that I've ever worked with. Coach Ruben Valencia here, St. John Bosco High School, along with Monster Garage Wrestling, coaching Juan Archuleta uh, wrestling and anything else I can help in with his journey. I've done this for over 35 years. I've had some amazing athletes. Juan is one of the top three hardest working athletes I've ever had the privilege to coach and train with. And, uh, it's, it's a special treat because one of the difficulties of coaching is trying to pull the best out of every athlete and, you know, ask them to give more. With Juan, that, that's just not the situation. I'm not asking him to give more. I'm just instructing him and trying to help him become a better um, mixed martial artist, a better wrestler. And uh, the part about working hard and, and diligently is, is all him. That's why he's where he's at because he's a special individual. It's a treat to be one of his many coaches that he utilizes to be the best in the world. I think um, when you work the way he does and you live the way he lives and you know you can commend yourself unto God and, and, and your work, I think everything aligns and, and I only see him being the number one fighter in the world. There's a lot of excitement coming in here to, to drill and then we start with Tiki's uh, stand-up series pretty much. We go into game planning and picking things apart, you know, trying to find errors that we make on high pressure situations, or which are good because, you know, as much as we strive for perfection, there's little errors that come into play during practice that we try to iron out. And uh, Tiki lo loves putting me through the fire. I love going through it because you find out who you are in some of these fights, right? So uh, no better way than having good training partners like Kaohi here. He's uh, first time using him for a camp. He came out from Japan. So uh, keeping me honest, you know, keeping me to be the champ and making sure I'm doing everything correct. And uh, it's fun, you know, I love fighting. Like every day, 
get to ease my tension out by punching someone in the face, right? So a little bit of fun, a little bit of uh, excitement coming in, but uh, main thing is just working through errors, working through your takedowns and putting everything together that we've worked last week and trying to implement it for this weekend. I feel like my coaches do the best. They make me come in here and utilize every situation that we put ourselves into in a fight and make you iron it up. my fourth decade in it and to watch someone like him you know grow from where he was at King of the Cage into the man that he is today and the fighter that he is today it's awesome to see man it's such an honor and a privilege to to train and coach a guy with that kind of mental fortitude whatever's in the cards he's a champion now and he'll be a champion forever